This is an explanation for the standard version of DocMail. If you require a more detailed explanation, or wish to use any of DocMail's advanced functions, for example, if you wish to use the PDF background for your letterhead, you can choose any of the following options. Refer to the Frequently Asked Questions section, refer to the User Guide, email the DocMail support team on docmailsupport at cfh.com, or speak to the DocMail support team on 01761 416 311. OK, before you start, you will need to ensure your document or letter has a blank area 7 cm wide by 4 cm deep, positioned 4.5 cm from the top and 1.3 cm from the left side of the document. This will allow DocMail to insert the required name and address details. If you wish to include further personalised fields within your document or letter, please refer to the example template in your library. Your names and addresses should be in either an Excel spreadsheet or CSV file. To create your mailing, click on Create Mailing and then select the required document type. Click Next. Mailing Options. If you wish, you can give your mailing a name. Choose your printing options. Black and white or colour, printed single-sided or double-sided. Choose your dispatch date or leave as ASAP. The default selection is Standard Class, which is a second class service. You are able to upgrade to first class if you prefer. Address name format. DocMail automatically puts the address in the correct position to show through the envelope window. You therefore need to tell us how you would like the name to appear. This must be available in the information in your data. Select template. Either upload a Microsoft Word doc or docx file, a rich text format file, RTF, or an Adobe PDF file. If you're using an existing template that you have stored in your library, you can search for the template name and then click on the image. Edit mailing list. This is where you upload a Microsoft Excel file or CSV that contains all the addresses of the recipients you wish to send your letter to. To add yourself to the mailing list, you can select Add Self. DocMail will automatically upload your contact details from your account admin and add it to the mailing list for you. Click on Upload and browse for the file on your PC. Click on Next. Ensure your assigned fields correspond with your data and have been set correctly. Click on Next. Once your file has been uploaded, you have to validate the addresses to see if they are deliverable. DocMail then checks the Royal Mail database to see if they are complete and correct. Select Validate to complete this check. If they are deliverable, they will have a green tick. If you have an orange question mark, then your address may be incomplete or incorrect and will incur a surcharge. You have an option to edit these. For overseas mail, you will be shown a blue aeroplane. Click on Next. Order approval. At this stage, you will be able to view a proof showing how your letter or document will look when printed. Please make sure that you check the proof, including the address and barcode position, before approving the order. If you're not happy with how your letter or document looks, then you have an option to make changes. Amend your document or letter as required. You won't need to re-upload your data list, as it's already saved to the order. Once you are happy that the proof is correct, click on the red Approve button, and you will be directed to the Secure Payment screen. Follow the payment options to complete the order. 
your order won't be submitted for production until it's been paid for. Now you've seen how easy it is, why not give it a try? When you first open your document account, you will find £1 credit already in place, which will enable you to test DocMail at no cost to yourself. We're sure you'll find DocMail both easy and 